Good evening, Eric. Twelve others have joined. Good evening, everyone else, everyone today. I know I'm enjoying this warm weather. This should be a lot of fun doing a live tarot card reading. Hi, Piper. Hey, Angela. Yes, I did vote. Hey, Deb D. Nick, you better shut the hell up. Don't you start. I'm going to come down and knock your tree down. This is going to be a lot of fun, though, tonight. Are you on watch? Yes, I am. Hey, Kelly. My bad. Hey, Borlicious. Legendary. Okay. I'm going to wait for Trish to come in. Hey, Darlene. No, I'm sorry, pretty many. I'm I, I'm not fluent in sign language for 35 years. I do apologize. You're right, Deb. Nick's always causing trouble. Hey, from Canada. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, baby girl, Lisa. It's been a while since I talked to you. I hope you're good. Hey, New Zealand. Swishy, I see you. Mrs. Jacqueline. Thanks, Piper. They're a lot lighter. Deb D, you better be good too. I will definitely tell Noel hi. Hello. No, Angela, I haven't been on lives lately. I've just been busy with life. Noel said hey everybody. Allentown PA. Oh, she's still not here. Give her a few minutes. She's probably getting ready. <laughs> okay. All right, yes. Noelle says hello. Hey, Stella. Hey, Day Day. She forgot I was going live. Thank you, Jared. It's actually beautiful here today in PA. It was 70 some degrees. Hey, oh, Jeffrey, how are you doing? I'm waiting for Trish to come up in here. I'm going to find her here. Nope, don't see her, guys, yet. You know me. Jeffrey, jump on here quick with me until Trish comes. Predicted to be 70s the next few days. I'm loving the weather. Hello, Canada. Hey, Chris. How's Hazel? Hey, Caesar. Thanks for checking in. Waiting patiently for Trish to show up here. Hey, Ash. I keep waiting for, you know, sh I want to thank everyone for joining because this should be a lot of fun. Hey, Sassy, what have you been up to? Hey, Ash, how are you? Oh, my God, how are you? Look at you, where I am right now. I'm with Taj. Oh. Little man is there. He's hey. in. We're getting our teeth checked. Ah, wonderful. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's really good. I haven't seen you for ages. I know, but you look great. <laughs> I love Thank it. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I really do. 
How's things going on your side with the whole elections and stuff? Like, is it quiet, nice, chill? It, Not really. It's up and down, Ash. Everyone's getting a little edgy, waiting for. Man. So yeah. it's, it's to be expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I hear you. I hear you. Here, even you know what we have not. It's funny how things goes when things goes like what's going on in the U.S. It's I won't say affecting, but like everyone is so on the edge to know what's gonna happen. Yeah. So, hey, David's even here with us tonight. He checked in. Ah, um, oh, David. Yes. Everyone David. here. Yes. Um, it's so cool that you guys joined in tonight because it's like we haven't seen or spoke to each other in how long now? For a few months, for like four months, I think yeah. since the whole thing was over. Three months. I haven't seen you for ages. You look amazing, actually. You look. I love your hair. I love your vibe. You you're very chill. Yes, I'm very <laughs> calm, very relaxed. I'm enjoying life. That's really good. That's really good. And how's the little? How's the your 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 daughter doing? Is she she's doing, well? doing fabulous. She's doing fabulous. Sweet. You know what's funny? I've been having dreams lately of like <clears throat> people running after me, and um, <laughs> it's really funny. I had a dream of um, I just contacted Avery this morning, so I, I told her, "Hey, I had a dream about you people chasing you." And um, yeah, it's 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 just funny because I was having dreams about her, about people chasing her, and literally uh, yesterday I texted her and I'm like, "Did you have anything about like? Did you have any 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 weird weird dreams lately?" And she's like, "You know what? I've I've been having weird dreams myself lately. I've been having like people chasing me all the time. I had a dream of her being chased. Taj this morning woke up and he's like, Papa, is Avery okay?' And she's he was like. I had a dream of her being chased. It's so weird. It's so strange. So, yeah, we were just talking about it. it as just before before that whole thing, we were just talking about this right now about the chasing stuff, about uh, the whole dreams, etc. So it's been very interesting. How's Avery doing? She's great. She's great. Um, I had a chat with her this morning. She's doing great. She's uh, yeah. She's I think in a better place too right now. Good. So it's it's good. good. It's good for her. It's really good. It looks like we're all in a better place now. Exactly right. Exactly. Yeah, it was you know what? Big experience. I feel like if everyone was able to keep um, that amic be amicable with each other, this is the best outcome out of the show. <laughs> exactly. In the end. Now you see Jeffrey's in the, the comment section saying nobody chases him. Okay, ladies, uh, go ahead and chase him. <laughs> come on, Jeffrey. You're the 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 hottest the hottest ninety day fiance um, male ever 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 been on the show man uh, i know he's looking great he's looking great i saw him he was on my live the other time he is looking jacked yes and i he's i have seen jeffrey since we did um a private party up in massachusetts and he looked fantastic then he look he looks great yeah he looks really good i really a lot of fun to see him in person via you know the video chat thing. <laughs> <laughs> David, I haven't seen David for ages. Like I see him every now and then yeah. on uh, the main chat, but I haven't seen him for ages. I hope he. I, David, uh, how's it going? One, something I don't know if you can with David. Um, um, David, I don't know what's going on, but I hope everything's okay. Um, something with his father, I believe. Are you serious? I have not. Mm. Yeah. It, oh shit. You know what I've been doing? I've been trying to play piano. I've been trying to learn how to play piano. I've seen, um, I saw one of, uh, Jeffrey, you were in my inspiration right now. I saw you playing piano with uh, Varia in one of the videos that you, you posted. And I was like, I want to learn how to play piano to myself. So I tried to play piano, but it's, it's going to be a long, long road. Yes. It's going to be a long road. As long as you, um, David's father is ill. I'm so sorry to hear that, David. We're sending you, oh, shit. you know, prayers and love. Oh, sorry, David. I can hear, I can see that right now. Cancer and Alzheimer's. I'll definitely send you a DM then, David. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I, <sighs> I can tell you one thing with COVID. I have met the most incredible people through COVID and the show. I've met people from all over it. They have been incredible. Yeah. No, I, I hear you. I hear you. Like, you know what? That's the thing. Like, I feel like the 
whatever has happened in 2020, whatever is going on right now, I feel it's just making us realize and um, we come to terms that being divided is not exactly the, the way to go forward. It's trying to understand each other and trying to be... Exactly. To, to respect each other's opinion, I feel. And I, I feel like being on that show, everyone will have an opinion. I, I had my own opinion myself at the beginning. But then it's, it's really respecting each other's opinion. And I do understand that some people are so passionate about, you know, everything that's going on. But, um, I, yeah, there's a, there's a level of respect that needs um, to be... I think our friend Trish brought a little bit. I'll let you go. Is, Trish is here, is it? I believe so. Let me find her again. Yeah, I've seen her in the comments. Stick around and see what she has to say, Ash, because I know you enjoy her as much as I do. Oh, okay. Uh, Trish, uh, is it Trish? Uh, who, who's who, who Trish? Who's Trish? I'm really bad with Trish, the psychic medium. Oh my gosh! Yes, she is amazing. Yes, and I'm having really her on. I she's have to doing, say, yeah, she's doing a live tarot card reading for me and for the people that are here. They'll be able to enjoy it with me. That would be awesome. She did one for me, and it was so on point, which is quite yeah, it's quite interesting. It was so on point. It's uh, you guys will love him. We, we love her. Uh, exactly. Hey, good luck at the dentist. Stay tuned while he's getting his teeth checked. Ash, Ciao, guys. fantastic. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay, let me find. Trish, I'm looking for you. Sometimes I get a little sloppy with these. Okay, I just requested Trish. She said it was lagging a little bit, so let's see if we can connect. Hey! Hi, can you see me? Yeah, turn your phone just down, just a scotch. All I see is from your nose up. Okay. Down a little bit more. There. there. Face. There, can you see me? Yes. How are you? I'm great, you? I'm doing great. I was talking with Ash while we were trying to get connection. Um, Ash That's is here. Jeffrey's here. David's here. Hi, Hi Jeffrey. Hi, uh, Ash. Hi, everybody. Some people I don't know, but hi, everybody. <laughs> Saying Ash just said hi to you, Jeffrey. He's in here. Hi, Jess. It's a lot of um, fun. It was a lot of fun to see <clears throat> Ash because I haven't seen him visually in uh, three months and he looks very I know he looks good. I saw that. I was on the live actually. Oh, okay. So you did get yeah. to see him. I did see him, yeah. He looks Is it too much light or you want more light? No, you're good. You're really good right there. Right there. Yes. Okay, there we go. So. All right. Hi, Jeff, Jeff, I'm great, you? Jeffrey. What's up? <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Love. I love all their seasons. Oh, Caesar is here too. Yes. Oh, cool. Hi. You're going to become the 90 day fiance psychic. I think, I think so because um. I'm supposed to do other ones, uh, but I cannot tell you who it is mm -hmm. because some people doesn't like some of them. So I don't want to give you that information right now because of confidentiality. Exactly. I understand that. The guys that are here, they're like family to me. Everyone that's in the live is like family to me. So great. I, uh, I'm interested to do the tarot card reading live with you. Okay everyone here tonight okay so um i'm a medium as well so uh i don't know if you want me to start saying uh my gift or do you have any question for me or yes um for the people that don't know she's also a medium um and that there trish i'm gonna let you explain what a medium senses and feels and sees Okay, so what I'm going to explain to you guys is um, when I was nine years old, I had a surgery done in my uh, my throat. 
And uh, so my mom and my dad was waiting outside and I was, I crossed over and I went through the light, through the door of heaven for almost like 15 minutes. So they told my parents, you know, she's not coming back. So I came back and looked at my body and I didn't know anybody on the other side. Uh, so when I look at my body, I chose to come back inside my body. And a month after, uh, because I take violent lesson when I was young, I'm Catholic. And uh, so I went in a cemetery and uh, I went and I start to see people starting to go by. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Right? <laughs> So somebody came to me and they start talking to me. I'm like, oh, my God. And I could hear them talking. You're like nine years old. You what the hell's going on, right? I would have been So like, yes. <laughs> they say, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? And I'm like, okay, I will pray for you. I fall asleep uh, on someone's grave. Uh, my sister's on live right now. Her name is Natalie McGraw. And uh, she found me asleep in the grave. They were wondering, my mom and dad, where she is, where she is, right? I'm the baby of the family of four. Oh, okay. So she went and told them off. She fell asleep in someone's grave. So my mom, as a skeptic, because we're Catholic, mm -hmm. she said, you're never going to go back to the grave ever again. You can't do that. You, you could have, you know, sink in the, the grave itself. I'm like, okay, whatever. And after that, I had to lie all my life. Until last year, um, I told her I sneak after the violent lesson. And I was still going to pray for the people and talk to the dead. That's incredible. Now, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you see or feel any type of thing around me when you look at me? Yeah, I could see also the look. I could see some people see shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, but I could see the old figure, which means I could see the eye color and I'm able to see if it's a male or it's a female. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of people around you right now. You, you, are you feeling it? Yes. Um, I have somebody called Renee. I don't know if you know anybody called Renee. She said something about... I'm getting goosebumps because it's a little kid. Uh, she says something about the number 17, uh, 2017, and her name is Renee. Um, <clears throat> that would be, Renee is my middle name. Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> the 17, everyone here knows. Um, on January 17th, my daughter had died. And her name is Jenny Renee. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That's okay. You know, she was needed up in heaven more than she was down here on earth, apparently. I'm sorry. Mm, it, was an, it was definitely an experience. That was for sure. She said something that you suffer and you lost a lot of blood and that she said to accept what happened. It has nothing to do with you. They needed her. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I don't want to make you cry. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult. That was a very difficult year for me. You know, and like some people sometimes judge other people just by what they look or they on a TV show and let's like myself, I'm going to, my TV show's on all right now because of COVID. And they are judging people for what they look like or what they say. But you know what? They don't know you personally deep down inside, right? Exactly. So I just wanted to say I'm sorry for all those haters out there. Because the people that are haters, you know, they are haters for a reason. Because they see that you climbing, you know, um, the stairs. And they are not going anywhere. Exactly. Um, my journey in life has not been easy, but I remain optimistic that everything is done for a reason in life. It is. Everything. And I have, I have another one, another guy. Something to do with Peter or something Pete. 
you any anybody named Peter or Pete? Something to do with a dog? Yeah. Um, I was taking care of a hospice patient. Okay. And, and that's something that you, you said for me to prove that you're with him, that he's with you, is he moved one of your bracelet <laughs> of your daughter, and he said something to do that he moved it from the bathroom, you saw it there, and all of a sudden, she just found it recently in her uh, bedroom by the drawer over there. That's what he told me. <laughs> Is that true? My daughter lost in the bathroom for weeks. We wow. And she cannot find it. We've gone through this whole house. And she did find it up on her dresser. Are you kidding? No. So what you wow. Just, I'm like, I'm not going to tell her. She might run, run out of her room um, because she loved Pap. He was always clowning around with her. So don't freak her out that you're talking to me because some people are skeptic, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was happy she found it because that necklace is very special to her. So she was glad. She That's right. It. But, but it was she, like gone for so many weeks. Like it's, it's, it's incredible. Yes. It was a necklace. It was, yeah, gone for weeks because she... Uh, Tortured. But it was like a bracelet. I thought it was a bracelet. He said. No. Her necklace. Necklace. Does he have an accent? Or maybe I have an accent. I understood. Bracelet. Yeah, he, um, he did have an accent. It was a York County accent. Oh, okay. That's why. And I'm French. So sometimes, you know, when they speak to me, I'm like, okay, is that what? <laughs> but yeah. Exactly. Um, Sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> what are you sensing? Uh, I'm sensing less of a negative a little bit in the chat rooms. I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. uh, this lady, lady uh, Sheena, said fake ass shit. Okay. I don't know why she's so negative, but I. you have to... Please. She said, fake ass shit. She said, you're not your daughter, Sheena. That's what she said. Mm, that's okay. Let's, let's ignore the negativity because the ones that are following here are truly family to me and they'll handle the, they'll handle the audience. And my two hands are here. So if I would be Googling something, how would I know this person's name? And I don't think anywhere that on your uh, Google, that will Google you that you had a daughter that you lost. I don't think you could find that. Can you? No, I don't believe you can. No. So if people think it's bullshit, that's, that's okay. I don't care. Yeah. I'm not going to listen to them. They're, that's why I have my selenite with me here. Yes. Try to remove the energy from those people. Um. We'll, we'll just move on without them. We'll just continue talking because okay. if, I, if I've learned <clears throat> one thing, do not feed into the negativity. Do not Correct. Feed, cut it off and continue to do what you have to do. That's right. Yeah, thanks, Annabelle. That's 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 what I just said. True. <laughs> yes. It's true, because how how would I know the dates? I am like, right? Like it's not even there. Like people doesn't even know that about you. So that's why I mean, people judge you and they don't even know anything about you. It's like, exactly. but yeah. Thank you, ladies, for the wonderful comments. Yeah, it's very, some of them are very positive. They the are. pretty 2021, uh, I think COVID will still stay until probably next June. Exactly. And Inspector 
Kelly and Day Day and Angela, they're all family. So we're surrounded by positive energy just because there's one or two. Just ignore Trish. And, you know, let's talk about tarot readings. It's been many years since I've had a tarot reading. Yeah, and because it's personal information, that's why I said, is it okay to talk about it? And you said yes. So if they want to know about it, that's, you know, they shouldn't insult it, but that's okay. But yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, until next June, that's how I feel about the COVID because um, there's a lot of things that I, even on my other page that I had. And last January, I posted something and I said there will be a lot of chaos, a lot of um, tsunami and everything. And people was messaging me back and saying that they were freaked. Not on this Instagram, but I have another one that is a smaller Instagram account. Oh. And they were freaked because what I predicted did happen. Yes, Speedway um, she does do private readings. You can go to her page afterwards and send her a DM. Correct. I'm actually excited to do this tarot card reading. Because okay, so what I'll do is different people do the tarot reading differently. Okay. I do it differently because usually the tarot readers, they choose your card. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with mine is I make you choose a card. Uh, do you believe in hypnosis? Uh, what is that? It knows, like hypnosis, like you could get hypnosis. Oh, yes, hypnotized. Right? Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you choose the card. And I'm going to, uh, in your mind, you just ask the question. But you don't tell me what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. And when you choose your card and ask the question, you don't realize your brain is like a, a sponge. It's like water, right? Whatever that you think, it will you know, eat all of that, right? right? So when you choose your card, you may freak out because the card will tell you what's going to happen. Wow. So I'm going to start to do that right now. I have two different tarot deck. I have the fairy and the angel card. So I'll show it to you. So this is the uh, angel tarot oh, card. Okay, that's a beautiful angel. And this is the uh, fairy tarot card. Okay. Um, let's choose the fairy. Okay. It's funny because everybody chooses the fairy, even the man. Really? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a hey, ladies. So bear with me because if she shocks me, I'll drop my phone. <laughs> Right? But the fairy, I believe in fairy as well because when I was working at this store, that was a cuckoo clock, right? Mm -hmm. But it was a cuckoo clock that had no battery. It was made of wood. And my sister passed away uh, four years ago. Sorry. And each time I was going at the store, the people that was working there, like the readers and the manager and the owner was like, the cuckoo clock's telling you, telling us when you're coming in. I'm like, what? So the clock was doing tick, 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 tick. It was doing that. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That would definitely be like, okay, what's going on now? <laughs> right? And I even took a video because, again, people are skeptic. And I said, you know what? All my life, I have to prove myself. So I said, you know what? I'm going to prove myself again. I took a video. I went and opened the thing. And there's no battery. There's no electrical, nothing. And people's like, wow. what the hell? How did this freaking thing happen, right? Yeah, that would have been like, I was just like, okay. That's right. And also, that was when I started working there. I believe in fairy because my sister... I'm sure she was moving all the crystals because they were saying that like, they put some crystals somewhere and all of a sudden the crystal were all like somewhere else. Oh, wow. So that's what fairy does. They move everything. Oh, they're little mischievous ones. I know. 
So let me put this aside here. And I have another fairy here too. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that is so cute. It's got like the miniature crystal ball. Yes. And I have a smally crystal ball. Oh, that's really nice. Oh my God, I love the color. Yeah, and I have a huge one like this. Oh, wow. And it's clear. Wow. So, yeah. So, okay, let's uh, start the tarot here. Okay. And I'm going to do it this way, and I'm going to take the phone. And what I would like you to do, concentrate on the question. Mm -hmm. And I will ask you to tell me when to stop when you choose the card. I know it may sound weird to people, but it's not to me, so I don't care. Okay. Let me know if you could see the cards. Okay. Yes. Can you see them? Yes. Okay. So now ask the question in your mind and tell me when to stop. Stop. And you need to choose 10 cards. Okay. Let's go for the middle. This one here? Yes. Right there. Stop. Right there. Stop. Right there. This one? Yes. Okay. And you have five more. Okay. Stop. You're still thinking of your question, I hope? Yes. Okay. Stop. One, three, four, cat sink. So I'm just counting in French. One, two, three, cat sink, sis. Okay, you have three more to choose. Okay. Stop. There's like 70, 86 card in it. So just to let you know, that's why it's a long deck. <laughs> yes, I was wondering. I was like, it seemed like a lot of cards. It is. Stop right there. Okay, let me count it. Just, I think, just mm -hmm. give me one second here. At least I make everybody laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't ever see that many tarot cards before because it's true, usually it's only like 50, but this oh, one is like 86. And the last one. Stop. Okay.
All right. Okay, so the first card, um, it's the, uh, I'll show it to you. It's called the, uh, I don't know if you could see it. Hold up, up a little bit, Trish. <clears throat> can you see it? A little bit higher. There we go. Okay, yes, now I can see it. Okay, so this card is the present moment. Okay. And your, and your primary concern. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, what I see for this card is uh, you're going to have a success, success, my God, I can speak English now, success, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. Great. Okay. The second card is the uh, five of spring, and that card caused you to have any challenge or what is blocking you. Mm -hmm. And this card, sorry, I'm a funny lady, I know. Opposite, <laughs> opposing goals arising from different opinion. Uh, you feeling at odds with yourself or other. Overly mm -hmm. ambitious people. You're very ambitious. I think you asked something to do with a business. If I don't, maybe I'm assuming, but the two of spring. And the two of spring is uh, what is in your mind and the unknown information and your distance past. And this one is a bright future manifesting uh, through hard work and creativity. Uh, partnering with others uh, who share your dreams. Good progress been made. Okay. The next card is uh, balance, which, are you Libra? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> my husband and my sister is Libra too. <laughs> <laughs> I see this card. I have to laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so this is the fourth card, number four. Mm -hmm. And the number four is your recent past, a situation that has come to a conclusion. So take everyone, take everyone's input into consideration, a merge viewpoint to create a better solution. Take your time, and there's no need to rush. Nice. Okay. The number five is the king of summer. And the present, your conscious belief, and your current event. And this one, it says a romantic partner you can trust. Excellent. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excellent advice that come from the art. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Nice. So if you have a business right now, I see another business coming up. Excellent. And uh, it's in the process. I feel that you're like on a standstill or something. That's what I feel. Mm-hmm. Very true. So that's number six. It's the chariot. I don't know what to say it in English. The chariot. Okay. The near future, a new person or event, and also the shift of your energy. Uh, success that will come from dedication and self-discipline. Celebrating your accomplishment and being in the spotlight. So it looks like you're going to be a spotlight again, somehow. Oh <laughs> That's okay. You're laughing, but... but <laughs> wow. Sometimes okay. you don't realize it, right? You think, oh, yeah, as if I'm going to go on TV again. But you know what? You never know. <laughs> right? Right. Number seven is your tree of summer. And that one is your power, 
in the moment and how you see yourself in the situation. Uh, news worth celebrating. So you're going to get some news or any announcement, such as wedding, graduation, uh, birth, a uh, friend that you cherish. So I think maybe someone that you're close to or something will probably get a children or like get pregnant and probably celebrate that. Like, Awesome. That'll be good, right? It will be good. The birth of a child is always awesome. And the next one is the king of winter. Uh, the one is your effect of people around you and how other people see you in the situation. Uh, get advice from someone else that is professional and also some people that does public speaking. Also, you're going to get some very emotional um, relationship somehow like it's going you're gonna have some hurt around you with someone that you love don't worry it's, it's nothing negative it's just it's just some news that you don't you know you're like gonna be shocked but that's okay life is not perfect nothing shocks me after being on 90 days <laughs> right <laughs> so the next one is the dream is it the dreamer yes the dreamer <laughs> your your hopes and your fear okay. so embrace your true purposes in life uh, begin a new adventure and trust yourself which i was telling you earlier about having to open a new business and now i'm saying that beginning a new adventure so it's like it looks like you're probably going to open something else mm-hmm and the last card, and it's, and it says is the dreamer, and the other one was the winter, which means it's coming like winter time, probably around December, that you're probably gonna have some business coming. Wow. Yeah, and the last card is the ace of summer, and what is the most likely to outcome? Uh, open your heart to love. Wow. Wow. The beginning of an intimate relationship. Oh, uh, <laughs> Mr. White is to, coming, yay. Yes, a new love, right? Uh, intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic ability or spiritual epiphany. Wow. Wow. That, That's pretty cool. It is very cool. It's very cool as you were reading the cards off and my mind is focusing on the one. And I hope you recorded me because some people sometimes feel like it's very overwhelming because there's too much information. Yes, I did screen record this from the beginning. Um, okay. And Trish, that is amazing because my question in my head, it was burning and all the cards show for a very positive future. Correct. You know, and, and again, that's fun. why usually when people do tarot, uh, most of them, uh, they choose for you. And I don't get that because sometimes it doesn't work at all. But when you concentrate on the card, it's like you know what you want. So it's like it knows. You just choose a card that will speak to you. Uh, and, and it nailed it. It nailed it because they have so much right. fun and it's all positive. It is. So to my family that's on the live here, we are moving on up and moving forward. We've got this. Correct. And you deserve to be happy and um, everybody deserves to be happy. You, you don't deserve to, you know, be treated somehow like other people think that you think that you are certain person but they shouldn't you know i cannot tell people what to do i could just say that you know you're very a nice lady and i'm really pleased that i i'm doing this live with you today it, it's incredible trish i want to thank you and everyone who tuned in because you know my life has been an open book being on a tv show but correct the, but the future no one knows what's coming yet 
Yeah. But I can tell. But we could still continue to talk about other things if you like, or if people ask questions. Yes. Um, you guys can find Trish on her page at Psychic Trish. Psychic Medium dot Trish, correct? Correct. And she's in my storyline. You'll see her tagged. Trish, this was an incredible reading. Truly, it was. I'm reading through here. Um, how did you get in touch? Um, how I got in touch with Trish was Ash did a reading with her. And he said, check her out, Lisa. So I sent her a, a message to see if she could do a tarot reading. And I wanted to share it with everyone here. Yes, and there it is. I just... Oh. I, I, Deb D and the LLNJ family, thank you guys. We're building a There's someone else asking you a question here. It's uh, people were so tough on you and why? Um, that that's is, a good question. It is a good question. And I can't speak on why people respond the way they do. All we can do is move forward and hopefully the, the tide will turn. Correct. Yes, I am a very direct speak. Yes, I do. Chris, and you know what I realized too? People who speak directly to you, sometimes it hurt, right? Yes. But a lot of people, it's a positive criticism. That's what I have to say. That's what I learned in my life as well is I've been through a lot myself and I know that sometimes it's hard to receive, <laughs> you know, Protests us, but sometimes it's just because you care and you love the people, right? Yep. Jeannie Graham's sending you much love. She's our cake lady. She makes cakes. They look fabulous. She's in New York. Aww. So, you know, I've met some beautiful people from the United States and around the world. And I've been tracking each and every last one of them because that's something I can pass on to my daughter when I'm going that she can tell everybody, hey, my mom was on this TV show, but she met people from here, 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 all over, which was the best part of the journey is to meet all the people that I've met. It's incredible. I wouldn't. I wanted to do meet and greets, but with COVID, it was impossible. So, you know, like I said, you never know where Lisa, AKA Baby Girl Lisa, uh, AKA I'm Boss, uh, AKA 90 Day Fiance Lisa is going to pop up next. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I am getting a call here. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please send Trish a message. And Trish, I have a call coming in that I must take. Okay. And thank you all for joining me. Trish, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll chat soon.